Hey, welcome to another episode of NetHack from A to Zrudy. This is Wes from PC Gamer with Jeremy. Say hey, Jeremy. Hello. Hey, so uh, it's time to play NetHack again. Um, this time we've started in the putty window, which is a little different. Sometimes I already have the terminal open and the, the game running and stuff. Uh, but we made some changes since the last time we played to make the game look better, I guess. Uh, yeah, a it's, more been, high it's, def. Been a it's been a little while since we've since we've played, and I I actually realized that um, what you've been running was kind of a crappy looking version. Um, and there's just a few other things that we could do. Um, yeah. So one one thing I made a mistake when early on we were trying um, we tried to make the window a little bigger, but I didn't save the settings when I tried to apply it. So even though I made the font a little larger, it didn't stick. And I've been playing with kind of a small window. We tried to to blow it up on the video so that it looked okay, um, but we found a much better way to do that. So Jeremy's looking at the screen just so he can see this, uh, but we figured we'd go over it because people who are playing NetHack like me who are new would not immediately know how to do these kind of changes, I guess, to the appearance. Right. So let's, we can go over them real quick. This is just my, like my saved uh, settings for the nethack.alt.org um, server. So if we go to appearance here under the window, you can change the font and uh, we got some recommendations on the best, best way to go about this. Yeah, I actually asked around in the uh, nethack.alt.org IRC um, channel on Freenode. Uh, definitely thank you to uh, K2 in there for telling me some of the settings that he went with. Uh, I think they look really good. So we went with the consulus font and set it to, to just 10 points, uh, clear type. And then under the translation option here, we set CP437. Do you want to explain what that is? Do you know uh, what that I'm is? not 100% sure. K2 said it was the best one, and <laughs> hey, it looks great. Um, it, but well, So without this, one of the settings that we set in, um, uh, in the NetHack options, uh, it, it will actually depend on having the correct oh. character set. I just closed my terminal there. Right, so without having that character set, um, if we were to set that option, we'd just get like some funky characters for walls and stuff like that. Um, but another setting that we set outside of Putty uh, which you'll see is going to basically make the walls look really nice and connected. Yeah, so this is going to be a brave new world for our NetHack. Uh, um, so and yeah, you want to show the options file real quick? Yeah, show the, the options. options file. So we threw so up the IBM graphics option. Um, there's another one, DEC graphics, uh, which I use on Mac. Um, it's different depending on that. I still don't have a full understanding of which one is for which. I mean, I assume... You're using IBM because you're on Windows, but Makes um, they have me. kind of the same. Yeah, they have kind of the same uh, end result here. So if we pull open the game, whoa! Look at those walls. <laughs> That's the IBM graphics and the CP four thirty seven character set. So you'll notice the window is still kind of small, but what has changed is whoa! Oh my what Dude. just happened? We're both this speechless. NetHack <laughs> 2016 right here. So this is the HD remake of NetHack uh, that we're <laughs> going to be playing from now on. 144 FPS, super high-res textures. All the walls are now connected where they were once separate. It's, it's there, might actually, there might actually be some slowdown. I'm not sure if your PC... <laughs> I'm only handles. running a, like a six-core... 4 gigahertz IV bridge system. I don't know if it can handle this, but uh, I, I hope it can. So I'm well, going to go ahead and stop. Much better for the... Uh, stop yeah, this, uh, our there, Skype. Just... So we're, we're also trying um, a new voice recording app, Discord, which is probably sounds about the same, but uh, we just wanted to try something other than Skype because occasionally Skype just likes to drop its call quality and go to shit. So we'll see if Discord is a little more stable for us. I am, man. I'm going to pop into your game here. So I'm really excited to get back to this. You were, we left off at a at a uh, exciting point here. And now it's going to be so much more visceral. And I don't know, what are some other um, cliche terms we can throw around about, about <laughs> what, the, what this game is going to look like? Um, I don't know. Uh, so here's, a, here's an issue. 
I'm actually looking at your game now, and I'm having trouble with my terminal. You might have to Uh-oh. screen share me again. Uh oh. Until what's I figure it, what's this it doing? out. Uh, it I just need to make some settings on my side so that the settings that you made will come through for for me if I'm watching over your terminal. Oh, it's, do you have to set the same IBM graphics? Probably. You think uh, hmm. we can figure that out next time? But I can just if you want to Skype screen share me again. Sure. So we'll we'll try just running running that. This will be an interesting experiment. For now, let's share the screen. Oh, you have to mute. Yes. On your side. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. And I'm going to close this little guy. I guess I could have left it over there, but <clears throat> it's fine. Okay, so, so it's been it's been a while since I've played NetHack, actually. You you finished Sokoban, uh, all the puzzles anyway. Um, so you're about to uh, enter the final room here. Finished. I don't remember this, um, this symbol up here. Is it an asterisk? The gem you, or a rock? You'll probably... You'll probably just have even things that you've seen will just look so different now with everything God, blown it's, up. It's so crisp. I just don't even know how to process it. Um, I think some of the symbols may have changed with the IBM graphics, though. Maybe, uh, maybe a little bit. Maybe um, I'm crazy, so. but okay. Were doors always pluses? I guess they probably were. But yeah, um, just quite. This is quite an adjustment, and it's been actually a couple weeks in in real time since we've played. I've been on a work trip uh, and busy with with life stuff, so we're getting back to it. It was a pretty exciting moment when we quit. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I'd solved the puzzles of Sokoban, only had to cheat maybe two or three times. Once a level at the end, <laughs> and uh, then at this point, I was basically ready to go get my reward get some treasure hopefully um let's see if i can remember apply my lock pick bam god this honestly the the size of this text is freaking me out right now <laughs> oh jesus okay and the different font i'm not sure if i i'm not sure if i'm crazy about it i liked the serif font of of courier mm. and this is feels i don't know it doesn't it doesn't feel quite as classy to me we could try another one next episode see how it goes so there's a total mess of shit going on in here right now probably want to be careful it's a flesh golem Dude, don't fight the flesh golem head on don't fight him head on i don't know i wouldn't <laughs> i mean i can back out of here there's like a wolf in here. I, I mean, I definitely up, recommend bottlenecking these guys, right? As much as best you can. Um, I also saw that the centaur, when you walked in, shot an arrow. So you want to yep. watch out for some ranged attacks. Mm, so I don't kind of don't want to walk too far away, just because. Right. Then they can shoot me with the arrows down the hallway. Have they seen you yet? Like, if you kill a couple of turns, are they going to start coming out after you now? Um. I mean, I assume they've seen me. I just, like, was standing in the doorway, but. Let's see here. I mean, I can. It doesn't look like they're really following you. Yeah, um, they, I think they're not coming out the door. It's possible that some of them are, like, idle or asleep or something like that. A rust monster. Watch out for the rust monster. Oh, he'll rust my equipment, won't he? Right. Probably want to try to kill those from a distance if you can. So this is similar to the room I encountered uh, a few episodes back. That was David's was it Treasure Zoo. David's. Is this the exact same thing? <laughs> yeah, it is technically a David's Treasure Zoo. Okay. I think. Yeah, I thought the names were the same. Oh God, look at this giant inventory. Looks um, good, man. So I was looking to see what stuff I had to throw. I guess I put... You probably what? put some stuff in your bag. Yeah. You put a ton of stuff in your bag, so... I you do have, have a magic missile and striking oh, wand. that's right. Yeah. Capital B is your bag, if you want to see what's in there. Oh, is it open first? Apply it.
We'll go to... Do all types. See what you yeah. got in there. I think you only have like 14 items or something. Uh, you don't really have anything to throw in there. Yeah, you're, I think I might, just, option, I might have just used that stuff up, actually. Yeah, best ranged option bet might just be your wands right now. Hmm. So the forest centaur is just in there just throwing shit around at whatever. <laughs> Ooh, he's got a food it, ration. So I can start... Like the, should I just start shooting magic missiles in there, you think? Sure. All right. So is this a, a standard f finale to Sokoban? Is Dave's treasure zoo always at the end here? Yeah. Okay. So even if you get through Sokoban kind of early game, you've got quite a mess of stuff to deal with. Right. I mean, it's still the same rules apply of, you know, um, monsters generated are uh, based on your character level and in addition to the dungeon level. So if you did get here earlier, um, the monsters might be slightly easier types just because you'd be a lower level. Uh-oh. My magic missile ran out. Sorry. Right. One of them did. What's Wait. this flesh column going to do? Not sure. You do have striking too. Yeah, but... I'm gonna try that one. He resists. Oh, he resists. I thought. Well, that... you do have. You also have a ridiculously powered up Excalibur. It's true, but I kind of don't want to step into the room unless I have to. No, but you got the flesh golem in the doorway, so. Ooh, okay. He hit me, he hit me for fourteen. Now he's dead. Do I want to eat a flesh golem? Is that, is that weird? Question you need to ask yourself, man. Uh, I don't. I'm scared of eating anything in this game after my <laughs> near. I mean, you're doing pretty well. I, you know, you do have a lot of. I think you have a lot of food in the bank or in your bag. Oh. So I don't necessarily know if you need it. Oh, is that a peaceful? It's a gnome there? king. Yeah. The thing I is, ah, oh, shit. Now he's gonna be blocking the whole corridor. The you thing can, is. Um, yeah, I'm kind of worried about. So, so after the the brush I had a few episodes back with almost getting food poisoning, yeah, that was that was like Although, the th the thing that could nearly kill me, you know. Right. One thing to remember about that though was that it wasn't because you ate a certain type of corpse; it was because you ate an uh a rotten corpse. It was too old. True. True. Um, uh, you will oh, never get. Oh, Azrudi! There you go, yeah. man. Yeah. Look at that. Our our namesake, um, which we actually had not encountered when we named the game or named the video series. Uh, the first after appearance. It. Um, so you will never get uh Oh. The Yeti's only been dead for like a minute. I don't recommend eating while there's guys surrounding you, but you will never get food poisoning <laughs> from eating um a corpse that's not too, like that's a unique status effect that you only get um well okay I, I shouldn't say only but you won't you won't get it normally um by eating a fresh corpse no matter gotcha. what it is you might get poisoned but that's you know obviously different or i guess i shouldn't say obviously yeah nothing i don't think anything is obvious or too obvious anyway well i'm gonna let this forest centaur just keep shooting arrows at stuff Oh, including me, I guess. I think he's just shooting at you, but there just happens to be a bunch of stuff in the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I know he's trying to hit me, but he's not there doing a, a good, good there? job of it. Um, there's, there's a dog. wolf. You might be able. You might be able to tame the, the white one. Oh, that you might be able to tame dog. that guy. To help you. Help you fight some of these guys off. I'd Do have you have any throw, good food you can? Th I'd have to kind of get in there first, though, right? Yeah. Ooh, now, which one's the rust monster? Is it the R here? Oh, no, that's a rock mole. It's a Where capital was... R. I think uh, he's out of your line of sight right now. Okay, yeah, because I definitely don't want to touch him. An arrow? So, yeah, you've been fighting for a while, so this is an example also where, like, you probably don't want to eat any of these corpses once you're done because it's just they're too old. Yeah. Hmm. 
Let's see, what kind of food do I have here? I actually don't have much food. No, 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 it's in your bag. Oh, that's right. Um, okay, apply, capital B, take something out. Tripe. Wow, lots of shit happening in here now. Let's see, which one's my... Oh, I have to do throw and then asterisk, right? Yeah, to show everything. F. Sweet. Hopefully he'll help you out a little bit. Yeah, that'd be great. Fuck you, elf. You're dead. Human mummy. Dead. Oh, uh -oh. Here, rat. Oh, there's the rust monster. He ate the arrow. Dude. Rust monsters are not knowing for not are not known for giving a rat's ass. They <laughs> might eat arrows. <laughs> that seems sharp. Oh, oh no. Your, your dwarvish cloak can be rusted. That's good. Shit, he's fast. Well, you have Excalibur, which... Um, should I slow monster him or just try to kill him? Uh, it's up to you. Um, mm, I'm just going to kill him. Yes. Kill him. Um, normally, you would want to be very careful about attacking rust monsters with a metal weapon. But it's um, blessed. It just so happens, it's not because it's blessed, but it just so happens that Excalibur is actually rust-proof by default. Okay. Yeah, I think we talked um, about that before, but I forgot that it wasn't because it was blessed. Right, but um, you can actually rust-proof other things, too. There are ways to do that. Ooh. Oh, a donut. Dude. Hell yeah, my favorite food. Come on. Got to pick up the donut. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Okay. All right, well, this is looking a little more manageable now. Is there another one? Saw him in there, yeah. And you have another tripe. Oh, another dog. I thought you said another donut. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, there might be. I don't know. How many pets can I have? Yeah. Yeah. All right, dogs, go to work. So some of these monsters, um, your pets are not completely stupid. So if something is way too powerful, they won't attack it if it's way more powerful than them. Huh, interesting. Um, so that could be the issue here with them not really doing much right now. Oh, they're, they're doing some work. There's so many things in here. Ooh, a wraith. God, there's so much happening. This was really the right episode for the HD graphics upgrade. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can see every detail. <laughs> the sweat on their foreheads. You can, see, you can literally see the, the donut on the ground. <laughs> All right, what am I fighting now? Where's this forest centaur? Is it, oh, there he is. Zrudi. Oh, man, if the Zrudi killed you, it would be like poetic justice almost. I don't know if justice is the right word. <laughs> In the Zrudi's mind. <laughs> All right, he's dead now. Killed him. Yum. You money stealing motherfucker. Oh, you can't teleport. Suck it. Teleporting Good. is absolutely forbidden in, uh, in Sokoban, Sokoban. Even for monsters. Hmm. 
What? Call? Huh. So I get he to looked, watch him drink it. Uneasy. <laughs> so is, is that the default um, thing that pops up when you see someone drink if a you potion? Observe, if you, yeah, if you observe some, any effect from something happening, it will you like due to an item, it will usually give you the option to, to call it something. Gotcha. Um, in case you happen to know like, Oh, I know what that, you know, what know uneasy what means. means. Ooh, a floating eye. These are good to eat, right? Well, you've already, you've already gotten telepathy from it. So, Oh, okay. Kind of just like an on or off thing. So gotcha. yes, they are good to eat, but you in this case already have telepathy. I'm already magic. I mean, this. You're looking, uh, you're looking very good here. Hmm. Gray elf did not drop a corpse. Fortunately. Some gold for a centaur. Eh, I don't want to eat him. He's been dead for a little bit. Ooh, a wand. I've got so many freaking wands. Wands are good, man. Ooh. Stupid glass piercer. So I think so many things in this game would have killed me by this point were I not a Valkyrie. Right. Well, also you have armor class minus 10. Good point. Because I'm mostly because I'm a Valkyrie. And I started with good, good shit. I think you actually only started with that small shield. Yeah, I guess I got pretty lucky with the... Oh, a giant mimic. The dog immediately eats it. Wait. What the hell? <laughs> what the f... I'm really confused what just happened. He ate it and then he shat it out? Is that what happened? <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah appeared there because for a second i thought it meant the dog turned into a trike ration but then his icon appeared again so i guess i think he might have just been blocking it from your vision or something i don't know i choose to believe sure he shot out, out a tripe ration after eating the mimic could be the case all right well i finally dealt with all that shit uh i found a bunch of money what else do you have laying here i think i've picked up everything oh there's some more money there um, there's a yeah, couple pieces sure you, of armor sitting around, but I kind of doubt. Make sure you check all these things here. You don't want any of that. What else you got? Just like some right. elven stuff out there. I think you're pretty good. Uh, what about these other these other ones down here in the bottom? Uh, it's mostly just like some leftover armor and weapons. Um, okay, so what about in these rooms on the left here? This kind of... Is this a open one door situation? Yep. Yeah, the, the, so the, the door actually symbol has changed into this little block. It used to just be a dash or a pipe. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's just an open door. Oh, so I can go into more than one? I guess there's only an item in one, huh? Looks like it, yeah. Nothing there. Okay. Kernod well and a hexagonal amulet. I'm guessing that is important. Elbereth. So this is a very important one. The text burned into the floor? Yeah. You got some items here, but then there's also this word here. Burned into the floor. Elbereth. Oh no. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> Should I uh, not do you pick... have do you, do you have an amulet on up? right now? I think I do. You have an amulet on, but you don't know what it is. Yeah. Um yeah. So you don't, I, you don't know what the one that you found here is either. However, 
it was the treasure of this Sokoban. So if it's um, cursed, that would be a real bummer. Uh, well, it's it's definitely good, um, <laughs> right? Because it's the treasure of of Sokoban. So that's what I figured. I would go with that one um, over what you have now, even before you find out what it is. Um, I'm bummed that that scroll just uh, just fell apart on me. That's all right. It happens sometimes. Sometimes scrolls turn to dust when you pick them up. All right, let's put on. Uh, so you'll need to take off your current one first, because oh yeah, you can't have more than one amulet. I I think you can probably. <laughs> oh, you absolutely cannot. <laughs> have you ever tried to put more than one amulet on? You know, I guess I haven't. To be fair, I haven't tried. <laughs> so so uh, it's jewelry. So it's capital P for put. Ugh. That's dumb. Don't ask me why. <laughs> why? Wait, I can't put it on? Uh, you should be able did, to. Did I just put it on through the other menu? I did, actually. Yeah, you've already got it. I put it on there through, the, through the where menu. So I can do it both ways. Really, can you? I didn't you know just that. learned that something about NetHack today. The 360 thing. Your mind has been blown. Interesting. All right, well, you've got a new amulet. Uh, I'm actually very surprised to see that you got an amulet here. Really? You're surprised? I am. I am. New, new things in uh, 360 all the time. Huh. Um, I'm, I'm aware, I'm definitely aware of an amulet being the treasure of Sokoban as one of the possible treasures. However, this level that you're in, um, the level that you solved, mm -hmm. is Just not normally a level where you get an amulet as a treasure. Oh, okay. You usually get a very specific item, so they must have switched it up. So that's something we talked about last time, that there are a few different versions of each Sokoban level. And yeah, prior to 3.6.0, there's two um, possibilities for this last level. And this one typically gives you an, a treasure that is not an amulet. The other one gives you the amulet treasure. So probably they just randomized it. That's my guess at this point. It's interesting to me that out of in a game with so much random generation that Sokoban would be such a limited set of you know puzzles and and uh, yeah results. Yeah, it's one of the most like hard code. I mean, hard coded things in uh, in the game. So I want to show you something here as the thing that I'm going to teach you this episode. Okay. Um, uh, so you 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 walked across when you got the treasure. You so you get kind of two things from Sokoban. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a treasure, but you also get um, this knowledge of this word that you saw burned into the ground. Elbereth. Elbereth, right? So you have these enemies coming at you. So if you wait for them to come at you a little bit here, these guys are pretty harmless. These mains. So maybe just right. let them kind of come up to you and start hitting you, mm -hmm. one at a time. Anyway. Okay, so this guy's hitting you, right? Yep. Let's try um, writing that word that you saw on the ground uh, beneath you here, just in is the that, dust. Is that apply? It's uh, engrave with I forget shift how to e, write. Shift capital e. e. And then you can use dash for your finger. Uh, dash. Yeah. Uh, so capital E, L, B, E, R, E, T, H. Yeah. And then let's look underneath you with the uh, colon command. All right, so you wrote it correctly. Sometimes you'll screw up um, when you write in the dust like that. So let's just hmm. wait a turn here on this and see what happens. Huh. So monsters don't like this. They don't yeah. like when you're standing on uh, the word Elbereth. It's, uh, it's like a it's like a kind of a scare tactic for monsters. Um, so this is but it didn't last long. Because it didn't last long. Um, this is one. It, it might be because it uh, it got messed up. Mm -hmm. But actually, this is one of the things that was really, really heavily nerfed uh, in three six zero, which was extremely exploitable uh, prior to this. Almost all monsters in the entire game will respect this kind of magic word that you can write on the floor, and it's an extremely good early game tactic, right? Because you can scare off monsters that you know would otherwise cause you a lot of trouble. And then just kind of sit there, heal up. 
right? Um, and so now uh, it's just a lot less powerful. Um, it still works, but from what I've seen, I've been playing a little bit more around, uh, playing around with it a little bit more. It seems like it kind of scares them once maybe, and then they're kind of like over it. Interesting. So, so you can still, it's still powerful. You can still use it to get away, but um, there, it used to be basically broken. I mean, so uh, one of the things is in the very first episode, you used a, a cursed scroll of identify to send in red dragons, right? Yep. Um, oh, you could, okay. I see where you're in going. In 3.4.3, you could have just literally written Elbereth on the ground and then killed those dragons at like level one. And then been probably pretty fucking powerful. <laughs> well, potentially, yeah. Uh, I mean, I mean that, that's not—it's not perfect because actually, red dragon or dragons have—they can breathe fire, and so if, if they're—you know—they can do it when they're not even next to you, and they only get scared if they're actually next to you. Um, ah. So maybe that's not the per- perfect example, but there are ways that you could set up that situation before. Whereas now, it's just not as powerful as it used used to be. So I don't know if um, you noticed. Anyways, I just yeah. cornered this unicorn. Oh, nice. Ah, no, <laughs> no, damn it. Damn you, unicorn. He's peaceful, though. Now, wasn't there a ride? There was a ride oh. that you needed. A, it's, oh, he it got you past me. A saddle. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's Found right. Ride. I yeah, forgot. Said you... I forgot that I needed a saddle. Oh, well. Uh, can't leash him. Can't do anything. All right. But yeah, it's very, very good to keep Elbreth in mind, um, especially I, I don't think I don't necessarily know it's going to be that useful for you in this game because you're really strong now. But mm-hmm. um, like I said, when you're starting out, it can really help you uh, as kind of a last resort to just get a chance to run away or something. Now, does that change game to game the name? Nope. So it's always Elbreth. Special, yeah, it's a special magic word that you can always write. Awesome. Does that have some uh, D&D or Tolkien significance that I don't know? Yeah, I think it's a it's a Tolkien reference. I think Elbreth was the name of like some kind of elf or something. I don't know. I'm not I'm not too familiar with that. It might be from like the Silmarillion or something. A paper golem. Seems like Oh, hell yeah. Nice. I like that. Um I wonder if I should take this dog with me. Well you've still got some pets waiting for you, right? I know. That's why I was so, thinking. It's up to you. I don't cats. think you need like a billion pets. Probably don't. Um, there's no better way to get out of here than just walking back through, right? Um, I would use fast travel uh, with underscore. And then you but can... But I mean, I, uh, I still have to walk to... Yeah, but then you can type the letter and then press comma. And then, yeah, that's that way is really fast. But yeah, you, you're going to have to walk it. Even that's if you fine. did have the power to teleport, it's blocked in Sokoban. All right, so... Sokoban has been completed. Good job, man. No, don't attack the dwarf. There you go. Do it again. Yeah. Just <laughs> as fast, pretty much. The nice thing is that it will, the, your cursor will actually stay there, so if you do have to do it again, it will already be where your destination is. Oh. You... F- piece of shit oh you piece of shit oh that hurt all right fuck this guy i don't like fire elementals at all um <laughs> stop this laughing is, this at is me. maybe this is maybe another reason to keep <laughs> stuff that's flammable inside of your uh, in a bag inside of your bag yeah i would actually put all those scrolls that you have Son of a bitch. <laughs> I guess I didn't lay, lesson, lose anything. Learn, like, man. Didn't lose anything, you know, amazing, but... You hope not. You um, don't know what some of those scrolls were. Is it apply? Yeah. No, it's capital. Bag. Apply bag. Okay. Uh, put something in. And then comma to select everything. All right. Oh, uh, is that who's that? Is that, is that your cat? cat? Did you go feral? He might have. Take a look at him. Oh, it's just a regular would house it, cat. I don't would know. it tell me the name if... Yeah. It's not Rocky, okay. right? That's Rocky. That's Rocky. But I did have another cat, but I think I named it. 
Oh, man. He doesn't like you very much, though. Oh, your fumble gloves. Fond memories of those. Ah, fuck that cat. <laughs> Cat's dead. So the quarters so uh, look yeah, differently now, Yeah, your quarters look too. a little different there now. It's very exciting. Well, I feel like I've completed kind of an an odyssey at this point, even though I'm oh, look still... At your... still... Yeah. Huh? Look at your crazy fountains now, too. Ooh. Man, I didn't I didn't know how good uh they had it back in the the early 90s with the this these the IBM character set. Fancy stuff, man. This is real gaming here. Let's let's do an overview. Uh, so, I'm on level 10. We found the stairs to Sokoban. The Gnomish mines, we did been there, done that. Yeah, so I think at this point, uh, time to press on. Time to press on. Could always go back to the Gnomish Mines um, city, but I think the I'd rather County. I'd kind of rather just start making more progress. Yeah. So I wonder if that was my other cat. I forget what I had named it. I thought I gave him a name though. I named him Creed, right? Oh, he got. <laughs> He got killed. Did I kill him? I think he died. Something bad happened. I forget exactly what, but I remember now. He, I think he's, uh, oh wait, is this him? Nope, that's a kitten. Ooh, Rocky doesn't like kittens. <laughs> Rocky's feisty, man. He's, he's, Rocky's worried that you're going to feed this cat and then it's going to become your new favorite. Sorry, kitten. No. But you've just won his respect. Mm, I hear a low buzzing. Whoa, shit. Rocky. Your friends, the bees. I think it's time to get revenge, man. Rocky's going to get revenge for you. see if this this doesn't seem to be hurting at all which is nice um so it looks like your lamp might have gone out again you should turn that on again so you have more visibility oh uh, yeah is that apply yeah there we go hmm, so they're not coming onto the the corpses here Ooh. come here rocky where'd he go he went he, he went into the room oh did he you swap places with him, yeah. Oh, there he is. He's, oh, he's trying to kill the queen bee. Going for that queen. Why are you picking up jelly, Rocky? Royal jelly is good, man. Yeah, what did, we talked about that before. What do you do with that? It's just good food. Oh, it's just food. Oh, you, you, special, are, special you are not property. getting out of here. Kill it. Control P. Control P. Yeah, to see your messages. The queen oh, didn't kill. Her. Queen ran away. There she is. Yeah. Nice. Leveled up. Pick that up. Potion. All right, got three royal jellies. Continuing on. I'm trying to decide if I like these corridors more than than I liked them we'll before. Have to try, we'll have to try another font. You, you, I think you should maybe try Courier New next time for the next episode since you like that font. Cool. We'll see, after, we'll see how we'll play by ear. We'll see if it changes the... I assume it wouldn't change the the little like tile effects and stuff though. That that's down to the um, the character, so. the, the character, character type set we're I using. Though. Yeah, yeah. Which is okay. Um, it's just a, a big adjustment after having seen seen the game for a while. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like this is close to after having played this game for you know 
10, 20 hours being told, oh, yeah, by the way, there's music. You just didn't have it turned on. <laughs> oh, you don't have the music turned on? <laughs> ha, ha, ha. That would seriously blow my mind, though. <laughs> Say no door fortress. Uh-oh. Nope. Trap door. Oh, you fell down, but you fell down right next to the stairs back up. That's convenient. No Rocky left behind. Yeah. Apply my lockpick. So you mentioned um, earlier that you've been playing a bit of 3.6.0 as well. Yep. And you told me before we started recording, you've been messing around with a, a wizard. Yeah. You want to you talk about that a little bit? <laughs> uh the wizard is definitely not my strongest class. Uh, <laughs> like I, I think I said it before, like it's one of those classes where it's got the most amount of randomness, one of the most amount of randomness. Um, so you could potentially have a really good start. Um, if you is start with some good down, spells and sound of the spells you start with. Uh, and then you also start with rings and scrolls and you have a lot of stuff that you could, it could potentially be crap. Like it would just be like a scroll of light and like a scroll of, you know, I don't know, just some really crappy ones. So it's really item anyway. dependent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, they don't really have a lot going for them other than the fact that they have good starting potential. Um, so if you start with crap, I mean, I find it to be really difficult. Um, uh-oh, Elf Lords. Ooh. We'll see how they like Excalibur. Um, but yeah, they do have some late game perks. They're one of those classes that becomes really powerful later on. Um, but since the early game is like probably the hardest part of the game, um, they're pretty tricky. I don't know. I haven't been doing too well myself. So he hit me for eight, but he'd also had a potion to drink. Yeah. What do elf that... lords taste like? Terrible. Terrible. I got to learn how to cook sometime soon. <gasps> But you feel wide awake. Oh, what does that mean? I don't know, man. You ate the elf lord, and now you feel wide awake. How do I look That'd at my um my not my stats, but my um is it status? It's not status. Which what do you want to see? Uh, like my skills and stuff. Enhance. Enhance. I didn't really expect to see. Oh, can I upgrade my longsword again? Is that what the... the... the No, there'd be a letter if you could. So actually what this pound sign means is that you've gone as far as you, as po far as as you can go. possibly go. Yeah, so you're an expert. Um, that's as far as you can go. Cool. There actually are schools um, or skill levels beyond expert, uh, but they're pretty specialized. Like, for example, the monk can become a grandmaster at barehanded combat. Um, which is like two steps above expert. But, you know, it's like there's only a few classes that have that ability. Grandmaster puncher. Yeah. That's not much gold. Squeaky board. The, All right. the musical notes is a, is a new thing to 3.6, I think. I've never seen that. It used to just be if you stepped on a squeaky board, they just make a, they just make a sound. Is but every they new sound. thing you encounter, like, just delightful to you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> All right, so I'm wide awake now. I kind of want to figure out what the hell that means. Oh, a green elf. All right. Um, can you take a look at your uh, after you kill this guy? Let's look at your inventory. Uh, go down to your wands. What wands do you have? I've still got a f quite a few wands I haven't used yet. Haven't identified. Mm -hmm. Now, the last time I tried to use the capital H magic missile wand, it said nothing happened. Um, does that mean it's used up? Yes, it does. But there's no indication. It, it won't tell me like a used up wand. If it was missile. fully identified, it would. you would have an indication of what, how many... It's not fully identified. It is not. You know, it's uncursed. One of you know, one of them is uncursed. But again, being like knowing whether it's blessed, uncursed, or 
Uh, cursed is is like knowing you know kind of the buc status of it or mm-hmm. i guess it's, it's called beatitude um <laughs> but it's not the full identification now so should i drop just drop it if uh you could used up? if you want yeah. i'm guessing there's probably a way to recharge wands am i right there is yeah mm-hmm. i do have another one that i believe is also not cursed because i've used it so mm-hmm I don't know. I guess I'm not at a weight limit at the moment, so. Yeah. So yeah, I should tr- I should remember to try to use some of my other. Do some noises. That was rocky, right? Noises. Yep. Mm, okay. So let me let me think. I've been coming across some items recently um, from people I've been killing. Is there anything I would potentially want to take? For example, this guy has some boots. My boots are only plus zero. I think we determined they were pretty good boots. Um, I think they were a slightly higher armor class or something than your than the previous ones that year, I, but Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, you can try them out if you want to try out the other boots. Granted, they could very well be cursed, so I don't necessarily want to just put them on. But Well, you got that's what Rocky's for. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, there's another, another elf. So let's see. I'm going to drop those boots. I wouldn't do it there because there's already an item there. Well, I wanted to see if the helm was also... Although my helm oh, okay. is really good, isn't it? I think... My plus three helm. Oh, yeah. So I probably it also is th- well. It's thoroughly rusty too, so I'm not sure how good it actually is because that's probably taking away from the armor class. I think it Maybe didn't. I, I from what I recall, it didn't affect it. I was kind of worried it would, but it didn't mm-hmm. seem like it. Maybe it affected it some, but it. I'm still at negative ten, and I don't think I went. Yeah. I I didn't lose armor class when it got rusted. So right. So you'll never lose. Like okay. So let's say you have an a piece of armor that's giving you one armor class by default Mm -hmm. if it's you know thoroughly rusty or completely corroded it's never going to make your defense worse than not having anything but it can take you down to zero okay so that it would be basically not doing anything for you however the the pluses on it no matter how corroded it are will always count as armor class for you so the fact that you have a plus three on that thing means that it's always going to be at least plus three yeah uh, armor class even if it's a complete piece of crap. Yeah, well, so he, he likes both. Of, Rocky likes both of those. Sweet. Oh, but he does not like something else down there. He does not like the Elven broadsword. Mm, okay. And actually, you probably want to move it so that he's not, so that he'll be okay following you. Yes. Heavy ass. Can you try something sword. real quick? Yeah, let me just get. But, so you're burdened? Yeah. Um, after you kill this guy. Okay. Uh, can, can you try throwing a bunch of stuff into your bag that you don't need? Maybe just do like apply bag all and then just like, uh, yeah, put in and then just go through all types and like I would put your gold in there. Um, that's good to, to protect against leprechauns. They can't steal your gold if it's in the bag. Um, the, the amulets you're not using, the... Uh, well, I guess you're probably going to drop the broadsword, but maybe the... Uh, let's see what else you got. Next page. Uh, maybe your royal jelly and your food rations. And your booze. And then, like, your... Didn't maybe I, just oh, your, your I was freaking out that I didn't have uh, other potions, but they're in the bag. So maybe that. Maybe try that and see what happens. Huh. Now Interesting. I'm un- now I'm unencumbered. Was this a was this a theory or a lesson? That you um, had? both. Do you, do you think I have a do I have a magic bag here? A special bag? I, I, well, so you put some items in the bag, and suddenly your load became lighter. So mm-hmm. I don't think that's that a normal bag definitely would not do that. Okay, I thought there was. A possibility, but pretty remote, that just 
by virtue of those items being like yeah clumped like together logic. or something it would be <laughs> you know that's not game logic that's like life logic like oh it would be easier to carry these if they were all in a backpack uh, yeah, instead yeah. of like no, in that's... my arms or something but i figured that was right. very unlikely no that's just it's just pure game weight each item counts as something and uh putting it into a bag normally would not decrease that at all so i i there's was some, there's something going on there i was kind of wondering because i had put a lot of shit in that bag and earlier in the game i was definitely brushing up against the encumbrance a lot more frequently and it seemed yeah. like i should still be brushing up against that encumbrance mm -hmm. um if you know when i was picking stuff stuff up so that's pretty awesome i i got lucky again huh yeah definitely can i use i bet a eucalyptus leaf can do something interesting hmm. Hmm. try to try to put the bag in itself and see what it says that's what if it disappears it won't disappear <laughs> and I'm going to put this other stuff in there first. All right. Apply bag. Put. I'll type. Oh, I can just do G. <laughs> well done, NetHack. Uh, all right. Well, I'm down to... Level 12 now? Yeah, 12th floor. This um, might be a good, like, maybe finish off this level and then... Call it quits here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Come back for next time. Oh, what Made was that? Control P. Whoa. <laughs> off with her head. Monty Python reference? Whoa. What the fuck? Am I having a party in here? Something's going down. Kobold Lord. You're such a kobold lord, Wes. <laughs> uh, uh, is that anything like an edge lord? <laughs> so is there like a goblin orgy happening in here? Is that what's is that what's going on? What's that in the top right? Um, also, remember uh, remember your uh, backslash command, which is good for these kind of situations. Sorry, I forget what that does. On the, you can try it out on the next to the. It's on the same key as the pipe. If you do backslash, oh, sorry, uh, it must be the other one, four slash. What? Oh, you must have you must have done question mark. Oh, I did. And then, yeah, uh, four slash again, I guess. It's the same as the, uh, it's the same thing that you've been doing with semicolon, but mm -hmm. it won't, it won't cancel every time you look at something. Oh. So you can look at multiple things. You can look at that guy. Wait, with, so I uh, hit. Um... Yeah. And then you can just keep looking. Yeah. It's really good for like, if there's, you know, tons of stuff. Oh, we should have done that to the, we should have done that to the Zerudi. See what he's all about. Yeah, I haven't been doing the, uh, the <laughs> detailed, detailed info. All right, next time we see a Zerudi. All right, should we fight these guys or should I? Should we end here? I think you can clear out this level. I mean, you have Excalibur on your side. Ooh. Kobold uh, throne room in here, goblin throne room. I wish Rocky was here to help fight. Oh, he zapped himself. Did he teleport? I think he might have teleported. He might have. Well, this is a good chance for me to use um, some of my wands here. Did that just make a wall or a door? You made a hole in the wall. Whoa. Look, look at your inventory again. It was brass uh, before. It was W. It was a wand, wand of digging. digging. Okay. 
cool. Guess I don't need the pickaxe. Whoa. Did I just laser beam some motherfuckers? <laughs> what was that one? Let's look at your inventory. That one was M. Fire. It was a wand of fire. Sweet. Rune wand. Huh. Did that, what did that do? Not much. It still just says a ruined wand. Nothing observable. If it doesn't do anything observable, it definitely will not identify. Let's see. Which one have I not? I think I've only got one other one. Zinc. J. Oh. Oh, looks like it created a monster. It's on J. Look, at, look for J. There it is. Yeah, yeah. create monster. Hmm. I don't know if how I feel about that. Could be useful, man. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I got some elves coming. Oh, you it. got something hidden. Oh, maybe it wasn't in, maybe it wasn't a Maybe it was invisibility one that he zapped in himself, not teleport. Ah, uh, that could be it. The, the balsa wand, invisibility. Good to know. Although he didn't get killed when I was zapping stuff. Mm, true. I'm not scared of these guys anymore. All skin cloak. Can't hit me with arrows to save their lives. Someone opened the door somewhere. Yes. Oh no. He was rotten? Nah. It's different. It it's weird. Um so you you it's kind of confusing because some things that you eat, it's just kind of like a random chance. Either it will be like, oh, it just tastes terrible or it'll be like, oh, this is rotten. But it doesn't actually mean that it's, it's very confusing because being, you know, actually rotten and giving you food poisoning because it's old mm -hmm. is really bad. Um, but just being rotten is kind of just like a random chance thing whenever you eat anything. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if, if, if the thing that you're eating is blessed, that might like never happen. But other than that, I think that's basically like if it's blessed, it never happens. If it's uncursed, it, it might happen. And if it's cursed, it probably happens more often or something. Um, I think that's how that works. But uh, it doesn't really do anything bad. In this case, it blinded you for a little bit. Yeah. But I think Look I just got this. some stat boosts off eating this elf. Uh, might have just been due to exercise. Hmm. Oh, okay. Dang. Yeah, must have been working on your record. thought it was from that elf. Reflexes. Let's see, is there another corpse? Oh, potion. You notice you can't even see what color the potion is because you're blind right now. <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine in a sec. You can use your... Remember you have your um, uh, unicorn horn. Yeah. That can cure things like this immediately. And you even blessed it, so. Before you lost your your holy water. Oh, is it not apply? Keep going. Yeah, it's apply. Try it again. Ah, cool. And I feel great. I wasn't too worried about it just because I s seemed fine. Huh, and these guys haven't been attacking me. Have they all been worshipping? Might be like. Did I just walk into a it, church and just it murder? Seems in general, that you're kind of like sneaking around in some way. You might have some kind of like sneak perk sort of thing. Seems like most creatures have been able to find me, though. Yeah, depends on if they're how they start out. I think. Cram ration. Ooh, you're satiated. Yum, a jaguar. What the hell? Oh, there it is.
I guess I shouldn't eat the Jaguar. I might throw up. Shining Spellbook. Oh, wait, I can't really use Spellbooks, can I? Not your, not your greatest uh, thing there. Do you already have a stethoscope? Nope. Well, that's good. I've never seen a stethoscope. First time. Oh, yeah, it's loot. Uh, it's loot. Yeah. I remembered. <laughs> Unlock the chest. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> okay, wait a minute, though. This is supposed to be a throne room. Where's the throne? Yeah. I don't know. It's got to be a throne somewhere. It's got to be on one of these squares. Oh, I almost didn't get that ration. Um, so let's see. Slash here, and then... You might have to walk over it if there's something on top of it. I would just walk over all these squares and see if you can find it. All right. Oh, there it is. Wait, was it there? There's an opulent throne here. Okay. You can sit on it. <laughs> oh, you might have to you might have to move this stuff first. Maybe grab all that stuff and toss it on another square or something. Let's drop this corpse. You can do like a capital D drop and drop a bunch of stuff at once. I think you picked up a few things to move at this point. Yeah. You probably also want to throw some other stuff in uh, in your bag at some point. Capital D. Don't need those arrows. I can keep the dagger and throw it. The spell book, I should get rid of that. Hmm. Because it's a try again. <laughs> what? Uh, didn't do much for you, but it did That's, vanish in a puff of logic. Some more Hitchhiker's Guide shit. <laughs> Where's Rocky? He's around here somewhere. Well. Like we said, probably a pretty good place to wrap up. Yeah. There he is. Right when you found Rocky. Oh. Whoa. No. I thought L was my... No. Oh, but... hold on. Before you leave, uh, why don't you use your new stethoscope on Rocky? See what happens. Oh, there's a wand of teleportation here. He must have killed something. Oh, maybe he, maybe that maybe that was a wand of teleportation that guy zapped on. <laughs> and then he killed it. Um, okay, apply. Where's my stethoscope? D. You ah. can uh, you can see yeah some information. You can do this to any enemy or. Awesome. You see, yeah, it's really nice to have actually. It's my um, scan especially... scan ability. <laughs> One of the things that the uh, the healer starts with is a stethoscope so you can actually kind of monitor your pet as it grows up and it's it's a really good way to actually see how your pets level up um, is just by playing that class and testing it kind of like seeing what happens after every time he kills an enemy and stuff like that oh cool yeah well he's yeah. he's pretty tough I mean his armor class he, isn't great but he's got a decent amount of HP he's beefy man I think this is actually the he has reached the pinnacle of uh, of what a cat can become. I remember that Rocky's the one that I got from the bones level that was somebody yeah. else's pet, so he might have already been a bit a bit stronger. Right. Okay, so gonna wrap up there. Um, and if anything you want to say to kind of point us in the direction of what you think we'll be encountering next time? 
Uh, I mean, I think we're just, the only thing left for you to do is just go deeper. Um, so I think you're pretty prepared for that and you found some good stuff today. You actually, uh, so the bag of holding that you got. Yeah, that, that was that you that you randomly have is kind actually of an awesome the, discovery. Is actually the other Sokoban treasure, the one that is normally in that room that you got. So even though you uh-huh. didn't get it in Sokoban, you still have it. I'm trying to remember where I got that bag. You just found it laying around, which I, I mean, so. you know, it can happen. The game's random, so the bag of holding that's a reference to something too, right? I think that's just a Dungeons and Dragons thing, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. Well, everything the Dungeons and Dragons thing, right? <laughs> Well, you're doing good, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what's going to happen on some of these lower floors. All right, we'll call it there, but I think uh, more murder is in in the cards for next time, more slaying of kobolds and goblins and stuff, and hopefully we'll start getting into some new territory. 